What is going on Jeff fans, Matt O'Leary back with another video. In today's video, I want to get into a veteran center that is still on the market and if the New York Jets should sign them for interior offensive line depth. So I've made it pretty clear where my stance is on the New York Jets interior offensive line situation. I think they're pretty much set at tackle. You have your new starters in Morgan Moses at right tackle. Left tackle is Tyron Smith, and your primary backups are Olu Fashionu, who you just took with the 11th overall pick, and Carter Warren, who you spent, what was it, a fourth round pick on him last year uh, as someone who is the first backup off the bench. But the interior is much different for the New York Jets. They have Wes Schweitzer as the first man up to play either center or guard. And then beyond that, you have this next crop of guys that I'll put together like Xavier Newman, Hanson, Glazer, all, all those guys are kind of in that same crop in there. Sorry, but borderline roster players. And I think if the Jets were to add some depth on the in, on the offensive line, my preference would be that it would be on the interior. David Bakhtiari's name's got brought up a ton, and he is someone who is, you know, recovering from an injury, expected to be good to go. And now the same thing is being said about Connor Williams, the former Miami Dolphins starting center. Williams suffered an ACL tear in week 14 for the Miami Dolphins and is currently recovering from surgery, but he is expected to be ready for the start of the 2024 season. Now, he only played in nine games last year, but when he did play, he playing at a pretty damn elite level. One sack and six pressures in nine games before starting in Miami at center for the last two years. He played left guard for the Dallas Cowboys, Tyron Smith's partner on the left side of the offensive line. Should the New York Jets reunite the left side of the offensive line with Williams and uh, the left tackle in Tyron Smith? Eh, maybe. Maybe that's something that they'd be looking to do. And if I were to pinpoint a potential weak spot on the Jets offensive line in 2024, left guard John Simpson could potentially be that. He's a pretty good run blocker, but uh, was penalized a lot. Not phenomenal in pass pro. He could be a weaker link, but we've seen at least Williams play at a high level at both center and guard, and also he played next to Tyron Smith. So, like, is that something the Jets should do? I'm not even necessarily saying for a starter, but, you know, someone who, hey, like, if something, God forbid, happens at center or guard, should you plug him in there? If the cost is right on a one-year deal, I would be absolutely for it. As I said, again, I think the New York Jets should look to add another legitimate body in here on the interior offensive line. But the problem that I see is there's opportunities if he's truly looking to sign before training camp begins. He very well could get a chance to start in some places around the, the NFL. Like just off the top of my head, Chicago, Carolina, Green Bay, Dallas, those are four teams that kind of need a center. You can make some cases in some other points or some other you know spots in the NFL as well. But whether it's high draft pick or they just paid someone in free agency, I don't think you know they would be an option for a starter, but if I could name you four spots where you could go and potentially start right away, you would think that would be his route because I don't think he's going to get a big deal. I think he would get just a one-year prove-it deal, and the only way to then cash in and prove that you're worth that contract and worth you know an, another nice money deal is by actually playing. And as I mentioned, there are opportunities outside of New York where you could probably come in and, and play and start right away. And that wouldn't be the case for him in New York all in, in all likelihood, unless they were just like, hey, John Simpson, JK, we are going to have you be a backup on the interior offensive line, which I don't think they would do. Um, again, him recovering from an injury kind of complicates things a little bit. Like someone who's this talented usually doesn't last until almost July. But his circumstance is a little bit different because he's coming off an injury. Someone will take a flyer on him. I don't think it's going to be the New York Jets. Again, as much as I would love to have him, and I've just seen his name being tossed around a little bit by Jeff fans who, you know, they saw the tweet go on. They're like, ooh, like that's some good offensive line depth. And it would be. It, it really would be. I'm not saying that you're wrong if that's your opinion on it. 
I just don't think this is where he ends up because, again, I think he's going to want to go to a chance where he has a really good chance to play. And I don't know if that's the case in New York. So anyway, just wanted to get my quick thoughts out there on this topic. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. I am Matt O'Leary. I'll catch you next time.